this is this is easy assembly. It'll be easy. It is. It's not bad. I just need my muscles straight. You need my assistance? I just got home from work. We ordered this truck bed topper thing. So for when we're not using the, when we're not hooked up, not using the hitch, we can close the thing and the bed's covered. It'll be easy. It's the easy assembly. It's a couple minutes. When I get home to, to this project that should have started like, probably like an early Saturday morning to be finished like late Saturday evening. I don't like your look. <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, in all fairness, I know you're not complaining, but I'm just saying we got like, we have, uh, um, it's our daughter's first home game, senior year, she's in the band. And we're gonna eat dinner and then we gotta go to the game and game starts at eight. I just get home, it's five o'clock and we've started a six hour project at five o'clock and we gotta go to dinner and go to band. I'm failing to see the rationale behind the decision making process. I keep getting those looks over the shoulder too. <laughs> I can't work in these conditions. <laughs> All right, I've changed into shorts. This is not a quick, easy process. Like I said, it was easy. Huh? Not talking to you. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. I still wish this would have came earlier so I had all day to work on before you got home. I'm helping. I'm a helper. Is that what you call That's what I do. Got the cover on now. The only question is when we are hooked up to the fifth wheel, will it impede the cover or will we have to remove the cover completely? I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you undo these latches, the cover will fold forward. It folds forward twice and then it snaps in the front. I just don't know if it folds far enough forward to for that fifth wheel hitch to uh, to hook up to the RV without hitting that crossbar. That's the first fold. This is the second fold. Once it's folded all the way up there's little snaps on both sides. It keeps that in place. The question is, you see here this is where the hitch is going to be installed. Now once the hitch is installed, will it hit this the hitch is going to be fine from hitting this. What I'm worried about is when the actual when, the, when we back up and the RV hitch hooks onto the onto the slider hitch, is it going to hit this? The hitch is good to go. Even when the fifth wheel comes all the way in, I still have a little bit of a little bit of play there, so I don't think it's going to be an issue because this it doesn't slide any farther forward. It's as far forward as it's going to go. Hitch will slide backwards when we when we go on tighter corners and stuff like that, but it looks like it's gonna it's gonna be good. So this part of the the bed cover can stay in place all the time. It's locked down from the inside, and then it's latched here and on the other side, so that it's not gonna go anywhere. Truck bed liner cover that we got does work. I was a little skeptical about whether it was gonna work or not when I saw the hitch, because um, we had to take the whole thing off for them to do the hitch work and put the hitch back in and then we had to put the cover back on. But I was afraid that the crossbars in the in the bed liner cover were gonna hit the top of the hitch and it wasn't gonna be able to close all the way. It looks like it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. You can see um, on the inside here uh, the hitch is in uh, some clearance between the top of the hitch and the bed liner. So it's not gonna hit. So it's covered, the hitch is covered, tailgate locks, so, I mean, not that anybody would steal your hitch anyway, I hope, but at least it'll be, uh, 
it'll be protected. And then if we ever want to put anything in the back, we'll probably have our generator in the back. I just don't want to be stealing our stuff. Uh, even though the generator also will be locked down uh, by a cable and, and a lock. But anyway, the, the more protection we can have, the better. And uh, it probably gets better gas mileage when you're unhooked and you have the bed uh, cover on it. And if we have groceries and things like that that we want to protect from rain, we can put them in the back as opposed to in the, in the back of the truck. Just more options for storage and things like that. So, hey, why not? Oh, we got this thing from uh, FT Truck Pro and we got it on eBay. It was for $159.99 or something like that, free shipping. Um, I don't know if FT Truck Pro has their own website, but you can find them on eBay. Um, it was pretty easy to find. Uh, we were just searching different things and this looked like it was gonna be a good option. So that's what we went with. So, Leslie was right and I was wrong. It's gonna work. You'll probably hear me say that a lot on the channel. But uh, I'm glad it worked, even though I have to say that she was right and I was wrong. I'm glad that it worked because I don't like losing $159.99. So it looks like it's going to work. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.